Welcome to part number 33 of Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to be doing the World Classic Car Series. So, yeah, World Classic Car Series. Three races, one at Le Mans, one at Eisner Wand, and Autumn Ring Mini. So the first car we're going to use for this championship is... The Shoe, the Honda S800 RSC race car. I know it's a race car, but at the same time, if we have the Janetta G4 in here... Then we'll be dealing with some tough competition. I'm gonna go ahead and BOP this car a bit by giving it sport hards. No, Eric, you, you can't do that. I tried doing that before, but you can't. All right, so if the Genetta G4 is not in here, I'm gonna go ahead and reset field. So yeah, here we go for the first round of the World Classic Car Series. No chicane at Circuit de la Sorth, interestingly enough. Alright. Let's do this. The reason why I want the G4 is because, like I said, I want like that car to face off against me. Because that car is actually really good. Holy shit, the lads are really fast around here. Alright, so... Yeah, F down the Sarth, yeah, but I mean, at the same time, if we're on the toe, we might be okay. The G4's gonna come through the field, I'm telling you guys, right now. If not, we just shuffled the, the entire used car dealership for nothing. There's a car that I wanted in there, but we're probably gonna, not gonna see it anymore. Oh! Shit. Alright, thanks UFC. Alright, so we're gonna have to work together with the rest of the cars in the field. horn on this thing. Okay. I need buff draft. I need the bump draft. g force coming. Fucking hell. I put him in the wall. <laughs> SR down. Penalty. That G4 is going to go through everyone right now. This thing hits the rev limiter at 129 miles an hour. Get the hell out of my way. Be nice and easy with the throttle, not try to hit the limiter, not try to boost speed. Damn it! Oh, well, you're gonna use too much speed. Maybe, maybe if we, you know. If we lose this race by a huge margin, what we could do is adjust the transmission and then also put on racing hards like the car had when it got here from the Gold IV license. We're up to fourth. Not losing out too much. NASCAR at Le Mans. That would be insane. I hate when they swerve around you. I mean, I know I know you're supposed to do that in real life if someone tries to block you and shit, but still, these are AI cars. This is Gran Turismo AI. This was driving one line. Oh my god. Look at the pack behind us. That Isuzu 1600 is so nice. Flat out. Through Indianapolis. The whole field is bunched up. We might have a shot still. I want to say Porsche Curves is probably going to be able to 
outshine these guys. That's quite Lamar, you did in DT6. Nice. <laughs> okay. Oh god. We're losing out. Can you guys, like, go away, please? Those are the first curves I go. a really bad line through the final curve. Damn, that was a fun race. You see, the, the race with the Berlinette at the, the French Championship, that kind of felt like forever, but this was super action-packed all the way to the end. Okay, nice and easy. The Rising of the Sun. Yay! This was fun! This was a lot of fun. I knew the G4 was going to be a, a good car to drive against. Now, I've already used Le Mans for a thumbnail for this championship, but I'm going to use the same track again. I don't care. There we go. Thumbnails been made. Or not made, but replay's been saved so I can make a thumbnail later because, fun fact, for those who don't know, I use the photo mode in this game to make thumbnails. That's really good. Probably the funnest part about making videos. Alright, Ijernor Wand is the second round, and for that, we're gonna use a card that I modified off screen this thing. Position 2CV. Sub notification. Alright, so this is the third and final attempt with the 2CV. Um, so, yeah, the gears are perfect, everything's perfect on the car, except I made one small upgrade. I, I'm on racing cards now. For more acceleration up the hill, where the little tunnel's at, those who are familiar with the circuit, and for better braking. But yeah, there's a Corvette C1 that's holding up this G4 that's ahead. If we can get to them quicker than usual, then hey, that'll be good. That G4 is really quick around here. That's Butterfly in German. I only speak American, sir. Yep, the racing tires are helping out massively. This is the first time I've actually been ahead of the G4 in general. Nope. Now we now we can fight. It's like Alonzo. And the lads are here. I like that Corvette. Man, this, this game. Forza 3 is probably the most OP Class F car. One of them. Ever. Cars OP, yeah, that would be too OP for, for this race. 
Somehow I don't think that's the right horn for this car. I think that's just a generic one for this game. Alright, well, everyone's gonna come up the hill, and where the hell is the G4 at? He's not been able to gain any ground after we kind of put him in the wall when he's trying to pass us. Use the C2? I use the C2 in B spec. How do you speak freedom? By being free. By living in the greatest country in the world, that's how you do that. So. TCS is on zero. Sure. Final lap. I feel like going down the hill we gain a lot of speed just because we're about to hit the red limiter. And we can just break so late because of the racing hard tires. Which is a very necessary upgrade for this car. We're so underpowered. Yeah, freedom, freedom. Yeah, we have a 2.7 second lead. The G4 is starting to climb back up, but I think it's a little bit too late for him now. Well, up until we get to the hill here. No, we might be fine. The Isuzu, I think, might hold him up a bit. Yep, we're fine. We're just driving with the mirrors on. So that is the race set, Azure North Wand. So what I'm going to have to do right now is make a jump cut to the dealership because we don't have a third car that I could use, and we'll find something real quick. I'm going to do a jump cut right now. In, in the video editing, not in the stream, obviously. Okay, so in this particular case, um... I'm going to have to go and break a rule real quick. And I don't want to use this car because I already used it in the Top Gear events, but in this particular case, I don't really feel like buying another car and looking for another car in the UCD and stuff. So fuck it, we'll just use this Volkswagen Kubelwagen. I'm going to go ahead and mod it out, so yeah. Even then, most of the times, guys, these copyright strikes are for monetization, not necessarily, like, um, geo-blocking videos. And if it's monetization blocks, I don't really care, to be honest. I don't really give a shit about monetization. Like, when the time comes, yeah, I'm gonna sign up for it and whatnot, but I don't really care if a video gets demonetized. I, I don't. At least not now. Oh yeah, this is like a legit engine sound. Yep, a VW would sound like this. The ultimate third right here. That's what, that's what this is. That was a fail. If I had TTS then, that's probably why. Not only that, but I'm just terrible at drifting. You want this car now? Well, you can get it from... You get it from the European Classic Car Championship. I'm pretty sure you know that because you we were here.
Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, like... That, that's the thing, like, I don't ever see my YouTube channel getting super big to the point where, like, I want to make a living off of YouTube, blah, 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 it's like, this and that. Oh, you got one already? It's fun to drive? Yep. This. But, yeah, I mean, I'm never going to get to that point in my YouTube channel. However, you know, because I... I'm, you know, I'm super happy with my line of work, and, you know, my my line of work is fucking awesome. But, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like, I, I do this for fun. I don't care about monetization. I don't really care about all that stuff. If it comes, it's nice. If not, then oh well. But I want to play Eurobeat when I do the, when I use the 86, because, hey, it fits. Well, this Kuba wagon might be a bit OP, but oh well. Yeah, it's not really much to say. Welcome back, Arthur. By the way, they didn't say welcome back. Not really much else to say, like, holy shit, I wasn't expecting this car to be super fast. Right, exactly, Arthur. Now, some people that, you know, depend on YouTube as a living, I understand that. But me, personally, it's like, well, I'm not at that point. Of, I'm not at that point in my channel. I probably will never be at that point. If I'm not, that's totally fine with me. It's like I was mentioning to them earlier before you came back. I'm very happy with, with my line of work and the direction that I'm going in. Now, YouTube, at the end of the day, will be fun. Play Joji in a bit stop. Um, like I said, if it's not owned by Sony, you should be okay. Usually, Sony owned music is really bad. Them and like Warner Brothers. GT Sport after the stream? Well, after the stream, I'm going to work. Anybody else? You guys are more than welcome to play with each other. Maybe I put a little bit too much ports into this car, but oh well. That's the way it be sometimes. And there we go. Let's go ahead and wreck this uh, extremely ancient vintage car. Never mind, we just spun out. <laughs> what am I ending the stream? Um. Well, this video is going to end in two minutes or so. The stream, however, I don't know. Uh, maybe within the hour, half an hour to an hour, maybe? Maybe? I got a little work today, so yeah. Wanted to get these recordings done, that's why I streamed earlier than usual. Okay, so that's the World Classic Car Championship. Complete. And here's our prize car. It's a car that we're going to use in Japanese classics. Super 360. Yes. That. That thingamabob. Now, if we want to use this car for the Japanese classics, we're going to have to mod it completely, just like the 2CV. To even stand a chance of winning. There it is, Super 360.
So here's our car. I'm gonna go ahead and paint it WR Blue Mica. And yeah, next time on Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec, we do the Japanese Classics Championship.